Welcome Pathways Church, I'm Chad Brown and this is Emily Johns. And we're here to bring you the Daily Dose today. Boom! <laughs> Grab your Bibles and your juice. All right, we're gonna be in Ephesians chapter five, verse one through five. Let's have some fun. Ready, read with me. Follow, follow God's example, therefore, as dearly loved children and walk in the way of love just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. But among you there must not even be a hint of sexual immorality or of any kind of impurity or of greed because there are, these are improper for God's holy people. Nor should there be any obscenity, foolish talk, or coarse joking which are out of place, but rather thanksgiving. For of this you can be sure, no immoral, impure, or greedy person, such a person is an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. It's pretty intense, what do you think? Yeah, so when I first read this, the first thought that came to my mind is I would have looked at this in a completely different light um, in my life, you know, pre-church. I would have looked at this as just a list of things that I need to not be doing. It would be a big checklist at the front of my brain, and I stress out about checklists, so um, this would be a really overwhelming verse for me, but um, a more appropriate, a more accurate, and a less damaging way <laughs> to think about it is that we are children of God now. It says right here in, what is this, verse three, that we are of God's holy people. And therefore, we just need to live in the manner of one. You know what I mean? Like, it's that simple. You don't have to think of it as just like this huge list of daunting tasks that you can't do or that you're not supposed to do or that you need to, you know, keep in the forefront of your mind the entire, the entire day all the time. It's just living your life as a member of God's kingdom. Uh, I love that. It's not a list of things to just do. See, uh, let me end with this, you guys. A lot of people want to get through the word, but not a lot of people want the word to get through them. I'm going to say that again because I need, I need that to get across to you today. A lot of people want to get through this word, this Bible, but not a lot of people want to get the word through them. So it's not something that we are just supposed to do. It's something we are becoming, right? This is a culture of Christ. So I want you to think about this today. Your words transform your world, okay? Speak life. Jesus gave sacrificial love. Go live this out with other people. See you tomorrow.